This is the Xiaomi 12T Pro disassembly. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. And if you need any tools, there are links in the description. First, the SIM tray needs to be removed. Here's a better look at that. Now heat needs to be applied to the back plate to loosen up the adhesive underneath and then a plastic pry tool can be used to pry the back plate off. Here's a better look at the glass back plate. The camera lens covers can be replaced by applying heat and gently prying them off. 17 Phillips screws need to be removed. Now we can remove the top plastic cover. There are some antenna lines drawn on this plastic cover, which are the light gray color lines. The NFC antenna is located here, and the LED flash and light sensor are located on this flex cable. There's also graphite film to help transfer heat. And here's a look at the other side. We'll start off by disconnecting the battery cables first, followed by the rest of the cables. There's some copper tape covering the front facing camera connector which needs to be peeled off so we can disconnect and remove it. Here's a better look at the 20 megapixel front facing camera. Connected to the main board, there's a 200 megapixel primary camera, an 8 megapixel ultra wide, and the 2 megapixel macro lens. The camera connectors can be disconnected by just popping them off. The main camera is the only one with OIS or optical image stabilization. There's a secondary microphone on the top, and next to that is an infrared or IR blaster. There's also copper tape and graphite film on the front shields. Looking at the back, there's more copper tape and thermal paste on the shields. Once the copper tape is peeled back, we can see more thermal paste on top of the RAM and processor, and the thermal pad on top of the ROM or storage. Here's a better look with the thermal paste and thermal pad removed. The speaker assembly on the bottom can be lifted up and removed. There's some more graphite film over the speaker to help transfer heat. There's a mesh filter over the speaker opening. And here's a look at the speaker itself. This speaker also has the little white foam balls which make the speaker sound larger than it actually is. This flex cable which connects the main board to the subboard can now be disconnected and removed. The cable for the fingerprint reader, the other end of the coaxial cable, as well as the screen cable need to be disconnected from the subboard. Now the subboard can be removed. The primary microphone is located underneath the shield, and there's a red rubber gasket around the charger port. The SIM reader is located on the other side. If you needed to replace the screen, you'd have to take the back plate off, remove the screws on the bottom speaker assembly and remove the speaker assembly. You'd then disconnect the flex cable for the screen from the subboard, heat up the front of the phone where the screen is to loosen up the adhesive underneath, pry the old screen off, apply a new adhesive, and reapply the new screen making sure you run the flex cable back to the opening in the midframe, and reassemble the phone. To remove the battery, there are pull tabs provided to help us pry it off. Here's a better look at the 5000 mAh battery. Once the battery adhesive pouch and the graphite film are peeled off, we have a better look at the large copper vapor chamber which runs underneath the battery as well as the motherboard. 
The vibrator motor is located on the bottom and it's held down with some adhesive. There's a liquid damage indicator sticker, which is that white sticker over here and one over here. There's also a rubber gasket and mesh filter over the speaker opening on the frame. And the flex cable for the volume keys and power button is located here. And there's a rubber gasket in the frame opening covering it. So if you needed to replace that, you'd have to lift up and remove that rubber gasket and then peel off the flex cable and pull it out. The proximity sensor board is located on the top over here. And the earpiece speaker is located here, which is also held down with some adhesive. For the repairability score on this phone, I give it a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to put the phone back together. Once everything's back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply the back plate. Flip over the phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.